just the name of this recipe alone will tell you that it's the holiday season and it makes your mouth water. It is white chocolate pumpkin cheesecake, our latest creation from Christopher's Kitchen. Christopher Lampo, tell us about this dessert. It is certainly one of our most popular uh, holiday desserts next to our apple creme brulee. It's really fun. So we're going to start off with some, uh, some cream cheese here in our mixer. Okay. Here we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna head start that mixer a little bit and get that get that cream cheese working a little bit, nice and soft. Okay, we're gonna add four eggs to that. Now I made that cream cheese nice and soft. While the cream cheese and eggs are going, let's get our rest of our ingredients here. I've got some um, pumpkin and some maple syrup. A little bit of sugar. And we've got some cinnamon. Some ground ginger. And some nutmeg. And of course the all important brandy. Okay, we're just gonna mix all that together. Now we're gonna add our white chocolate to this, uh, to this mix here, to our cream cheese mix. This is the good stuff right here. Gonna mix that a little bit. Now we're just gonna add this to our, our pumpkin mix here. Gonna kind of get these going together. Now I have a baked um, graham cracker crust here. Just taking some graham cracker crumbs, a little butter, a little brown sugar, press that in there and then baked it just a little bit. Gonna go ahead and pour our pumpkin cheesecake mixture in here. We're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for about 45 to 50 minutes to see, it's, see if it's set up, and then we will add our sour cream topping. Now about five minutes before that cheesecake is finished cooking, we're gonna add our sour cream topping. It's pretty common on cheesecakes. Um, ours has sour cream, a little bit of sugar for sweetness, and I add just a little bit of liqueur on this. Today I'm using an amaretto. You could use frangelica, give it a little hazelnut flavor to it. This is a little bit of almond flavor. I like that with the pumpkin, it tastes a little nutty. If you didn't wanna use uh, alcohol, you could use some sort of an extract. We take that cheesecake right there just for a second. We've got our sour cream topping. Just gonna go ahead and add this to the top of that cheesecake and let it bake for another five or 10 minutes just to set up that sour cream. You notice I reserved just a little bit of this, this, uh, this sour cream mixture. And what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of that packed pumpkin, a little bit of this pumpkin. I'm gonna do this just for color. Mix that in there. So I'm gonna do a little design on top of that. So we just get a little orange color. Once I get that all nice and mixed, a nice orange color, I'm gonna put that into a little pastry bag, just like this. And we're just gonna make a little, a little design on there. And we're just gonna make a little, little design in there. It also helps you Cut the cheesecake. So just like that, we'll put that back in the oven. I've got a little caramel sauce. Oh, wow. I'm just gonna drizzle on the side of that for just a little extra flavor. Just do a little, little rosette sort of garnish here. And if you had some time and you, you had some uh, some almond pralines like we do at the restaurant, you could do something like that on there for the holidays, and that would be great. And Michael, just let you have a piece What of a gorgeous dessert. This is one of the perks of doing this job is getting to taste this. I want to point something out, though. This little intricate design that you did on top was not intricate at all. And that's something yeah, that that's people, right. yeah, it's all in presentation and plating. And, and your one comment said it's not as sweet as you might think. That's right. All right, I'm going to get a little of the caramel sauce. I get a little bit of the uh, cream over well, here. That's just really oh, is that just yeah, for it's garden, but it's decoration? Good. All yeah. right. Well, and I will tell you, for those of you that just want to eat pumpkin pie, because it's tradition, but you may not be a 100% fan of pumpkin, go this route, preserve the tradition. It's a great way of serving a traditional dish oh, in a wow. new way. So they're still getting their pumpkin, but they don't have to have that same old pumpkin pie. That is really a good idea. And if you'd like to access this recipe, it's available on the website at kbtx.com. Just click on to Christopher's Kitchen. You'll get the full litany of recipes that we have there. And there's an exciting one waiting for you, and especially to spruce up your holidays. For Christopher Lampo and Christopher's Kitchen, I'm Mike Wright.